What's cracking, everybody? Neighbor of Culture. We got Burger Showdown Part 2. We got Whataburger, Culver's, Freddy's. Y'all were telling me it's better than In N Out. So I shout out to Phoenix. We're going to see what time it is. See if In N Out really is top dog. We got pickles, onions, mustard. This is that Freddy's burger. Let's tap in. It looks delicious. I like it. The patty is nice and thin on this one. Love the fresh pickles, the onion. Got that mustard in there. The, the melted cheese. It's very simple, fat, acid, a little sweetness from the bun. Simple, simple burger. But I love the way this one tastes. Honestly, sometimes you don't need it to be too complex, right? That patty's so paper thin. This burger is honestly... It's a top tier fast food burger. I'm going to give this like a... It's hard to say. Let's see. With the Freddy's burger, I think I'm going to go like... That's an 8-3 burger. Simple, classic, straight to the point. Delicious, though. Next, we got the Culver's Deluxe. Let's see how good this is. A lot of people were telling me that this is one of those, those top-tier burgers. So let's see. I like the toast on the bun. That looks good, right? Let's see. Patty's got nice crisp edges. You definitely see that Mylar reaction. You can see that working. You got the fresh veggies. I had mustard of mine. This is, this is a good burger. Top tier burger. Culver's. The Culver's, it's, it's on point today. I like it. I like the thick cut veggies on it. It's nice. The bun's pretty good. Um, doesn't stand out to me too much anywhere, but it is a very good burger. I'm going to give this like a 7-9. 7-9 burger on Culver's right there. Now let's tap in on Whataburger. I know everyone from the south always talking about, oh, Whataburger's the best. It's that late night drive through spot. Let's see if it lives up to it. Burger's giant. It's a big old burger. So let's see if the flavor's there too. Damn. I got the jalapeno one. Maybe it's not fair. That's kind of like giving it like, oh shit, boy. Look at that thing. Whataburger's huge. This thing, this thing is definitely significantly bigger than the other burgers. I got the jalapeno one because they had it. Maybe that's like kind of giving it that, that extra help. But hey, if it's jalapeno option, I'm taking it. So let's see. All right, so my favorite thing about the Whataburger, I love the taste of the bun. The bun's buttery, it's grilled well. It almost reminds me of the outside edges you get on like a grilled cheese sandwich. That that right there is kind of leveling it up for me. And then the jalapenos, obviously. It's a big burger too, so you're getting a lot for your money. But this, honestly, I get what the hype is about. Is it better than In-N-Out? Or any of these better than In-N-Out? I'm sorry, no. In-N-Out is top dog. It is the best burger, and it's not just because I'm from the West Coast. And I was going to have it here to compare, but I've had it so many times, I really don't need a side-by-side. -side. I'd rather have these as fresh as possible. What do I give this? I mean, the Whataburger. I think this is this is definitely like a an 8-9. We're talking fast food. This is a great burger. Top tier. Pushing on the nines. But in and out in my opinion, for a fast food burger, in and outs like a, a 9-6. It's like as high as you're going to get. It is the best. And it's not just because I'm repping for the West Coast. It's because it is delicious. Even in and out in Phoenix, I drove past the drive-thru. It was packed. Just straight packed. 
So honestly, that usually tells you something. I don't know if it's just a cult following, but it's more than the West Coast because out here they're slammed, son. Everywhere else has some customers, but not like in and out In and out it's just it's that Holy Grail burger, boy. This is good, though. This is good. Jalapenos definitely help out. Fresh veg, nice. This is, this is good. It's on point. I mean, all of these burgers have the fresh veggies, the mustard. Got acid working for them. Except for the Freddy's, they keep it simple, straight to the point. Very good burgers. If you haven't had them, come try them. Tap in. At the end of the day, though, y'all know what time it is. Raining King is going to be in and out. It is number one. So best fast food burgers of all time, my opinion, and now it's number one. Number two, I'm going to have to go with, I think, Whataburger. Number three, it's going to have to be Habit. Um, I think number four, we're going to go with Freddy's. Five, Five Guys. Six, we're going to go with Culver's. Then I think last place, I'm probably going to have to go with Shake Shack. But those are the, the top tier ones. We're leaving out the you know the big dogs like the Mickey D's and all that stuff, but that's my ranking. Y'all know what time it is. If you got another place that you're telling me is better than these, let me know. I'll have to try it out. What are the Whataburger fries tasting like? Kind of remind me of McDonald's. That's a good crispy little fry. All right, let's see. Whataburger fries. Spicy ketchup. I didn't have too much heat. It's a good fry though. Not better than now. It's a good fry. And then we got Culver's. The Culver's. The crinkle cuts. Not really my favorite. Those are good. Not my favorite fry in the world. Nice and salty. Good crisp. Not bad. Not bad. For the fries, I think. I really like Freddy Shoestring fries. Freddy Shoestring fries are good. On point. Whataburger, Culver's. Normally don't go for this style of fry, but I think today, I don't know. Right amount of salt, crispy. Culver's fries are hitting today. I think I'm gonna go with Culver's fries over Freddy's and Whataburger. That's just that's today. It could be different on another day, but they're good right now. Till next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. I've been